The week-long retreat of the ruling National Resistance Movement Party's Parliamentary Caucus at the National Leadership Institute in Tianquanzi will end on 15th February. Despite the high spirits among those in attendance, away from the meeting, a feeling of betrayal and mistrust looms. This is after 35 out of the 43 independent MPs were invited for the NRM retreat. The chairman of the Independence Caucus, Sam Amoti Owo Otada, who is also the Kibanda County MP, says they had agreed as independents to debate their future at the end of the festive season recess. Seems almost by decree, people have taken a strong departure from having political ideology and simply looking for how they can come and occupy political offices. We have since rendered the politics of this country almost useless. NRM officials and some of the independent MPs in Tianquanzi said it was a mutual arrangement for lobbying on key constitutional amendments and in the case of the independents, a change in the law to allow them to contest in political party primaries without resigning their seats. But Otade says this would contravene Article 83 of the Constitution. Article 83 H and I on the tenure of MPs prescribes that a person shall vacate his or her seat if having been elected to parliament as an independent candidate or that person joins another political party and if that person is appointed a public officer. MP Utada and some opposition leaders say the move by their colleagues was motivated by money and the need to take benefit from NRM's established party structures for their political comeback in 2016. I agree with them, we need to lobby, we need to consult. But you cannot go to consult or to lobby somebody in the comfort of his backyard. It is not that they love the NRM all of a sudden because they defied the decision of the NRM organs that denied them the party ticket in the last election. So obviously they are not disciplined members. And I'm hoping the people who are in Changwanzi will mind about the Ugandans, will mind about the plight of Ugandans and stop splashing money and use that money for better things. The spotlight on independence began a few months to the end of 8th Parliament in 2010 when the late West Budama North MP William Okecho was thrown out of Parliament after contesting in the NRM primaries before resigning as an independent. The, day, the Ugandan people must know that it is them to make the choice, not us, not the people in Changwan. What is going on now in Uganda, people are moving towards individual merits because they have seen that Voting according to party line may not help them much. But if the independents seal a working arrangement with the NRM, this may present a fresh numerical headache to the opposition, who are just over 60 compared to over 200 NRM MPs. If I find that there is absolutely no explanation that can convince me, because the only asset I have on earth is the power of my clear conscience, I will resign from the position of independent leader and leave everybody to do their own thing, after all, it's all out there for people to see that these guys are not independent anymore. Though this is not the first time we've seen such moves here in Uganda, and despite the fact that some independent MPs feel betrayed by their colleagues, it does lend credence to the notion that in politics, there are neither permanent enemies nor permanent friends. Moses Sakena, NTV.